it's gonna happen. Just you watch. <laughs> like the morning sun inviting the dawn to break. Like the joy that Hi everyone, it's Saturday, October 27th, and I am tired. Oh boy, I am tired. As you can probably tell, I'm like, I look exhausted right now. So I went to work early this morning and for some reason, I stayed up so late last night. I was up really late with Ren watching, what the heck did we watch? Oh yeah, I Am Legend was on last night. Last night when he walked in the door, you guys saw me leaving as soon as he walked in the door. So I had to edit my vlog, I had to upload it. I showered and then I came out of the shower and Ren was watching I Am Legend and normally I'm really really scared of scary movies like beyond the point of scared. I just have this really vivid imagination days and months and years after I watch a movie I'll still have very vivid pictures of scary things in my head just a little ridiculous but God, ever since we saw I Am Legend in theaters, which he like forced me to go to, the best boyfriend ever, he would never force me to do something, but he really wanted me to go with him, so I decided to suck it up and go. And it was like, I don't even know how many years ago that it came out in theaters, but I went to see it and I swear to God, I can still, every time I turn out the lights, I swear, I see that zombie huddle in the dark. After his dog Sam runs into that dark building and Will Smith has to run in after him, there's that fucking huddle. Ah, that huddle of scary zombies. And I, every time I turn off the lights, I either see that or I broke down and watched The Fourth Kind with Ren not too long ago. Big mistake because I'm so fucking freaked out of alien abductions now. Anyway, so I was up really late last night watching that movie, editing my vlog, um, went to bed probably about 2.30, and then I had to be up at 8 this morning to get to work, so I really didn't sleep all that much, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I need a lot of sleep in order to function. Yeah. My ideal is between 8 and 12 hours of sleep. Usually I get somewhere between 8 and 9. I love the days that I don't have to set an alarm, that I can sleep in until 11, and I'm a huge bum in the morning. I don't like to do anything at all, but my schedule at the moment is demanding in the morning, so I've got early school, early work, and I just do what I have to do. Oh my god! Julie's having her baby today! Julie, my very best friend, she was induced today. And I don't know the status, I don't know anything about what's going on, because I'm way across the whole freaking country. You guys need to be watching out for Julie's next update. She's going to have a new little baby boy! One more adorable addition to this world, seriously. Julie and Rob's children are like the most beautiful things I have ever seen in my life. I mean, I just, I know that this new one's gonna be amazing. Jeremiah is the most handsome little thing ever. Julie is gonna be freaking out when he grows up because he is gonna be such a heartbreaker. Oh my god, he's adorable. Anyway, I just wanted to give a little shout out to Julie because I love her so much and. She's just my best friend in the whole world, and I know that at this moment she might be in pain. So I'm just sending you tons of love, Julie. T tons of light. Food for thought for the day. Today is the 27th. A good meal. A good meal for us is an abstinent meal. Fancy frills and gourmet delights are not good if they threaten our abstinence. Because we have overemphasized food in the past, we tend to be too concerned about what we have for dinner and lunch and breakfast. It is a relief to come to the conclusion that whatever we have to eat is good if it fits into our food plan. We do not have to spend a lot of time and energy deciding what we will eat today. 
If what we choose does not turn out to be especially pleasing, we are free to choose something else tomorrow. Most of us are familiar with the basic principles of good nutrition. By abstaining from compulsive overeating, we are giving our bodies the best possible treatment. By avoiding refined sugars and starches, we eliminate empty calories and choose those foods with the protein, vitamins, and minerals necessary for good health. Whatever we eat, the abstinent meal is a good meal. Thank you for good abstinent meals. Well, yeah, I mean, it just goes along with my thing from yesterday. However, um, this one I feel like is a little better than yesterday's about how food is not fun. This is basically the same thing because it's not really telling you that you can have much variety and that you should eat food that doesn't taste good to you. You know, it's said that if we choose something that does not turn out to be especially pleasing, we are free to choose something else tomorrow. Why couldn't we just stop eating the terrible thing and choose something more flavorful? I do understand and I do agree with the fact that I have overemphasized food my entire life. I'm very concerned with what I'm going to be having for dinner and lunch and breakfast. Not so much anymore. I'm still thinking about it, obviously, because I'm someone who has thought about this seriously for a long time. Um, but there was a point there that I've shared with you guys that in the morning I would wake up and I would plan my day around food. I would start thinking about the bagel on my way to work. And then while I was eating my bagel, I would start planning my lunch. Then when I was eating my lunch, I was planning on the binge I was going to have at home. Obviously, that is not living your life. That is not freedom. That is not control. That is not loving yourself in any way. So I understand what they're saying. That we shouldn't be tempted by food. So if we just create a meal plan that's kind of bland, that we would be less likely to stray from our healthy path. I understand that. I truly do. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to go shower, relax, watch some more YouTube videos. I'm still completely obsessed with the makeup tutorials, even though I'm not even wearing any makeup right now. Like... You'd think that if I'm sitting around for five hours a day watching makeup tutorials that I would have beautiful makeup all the time. There's this one channel in particular that I'm like so in love with. Um, it's called Beauty Broadcast with Emily Noel 83 She's a news anchor and so she has the most beautiful makeup. Like it doesn't like her skin just looks flawless all the time she has those beautiful eyeshadow and she's been doing this for like four years so she's got like 47 million video views like I'm looking at that number right now and I'm just like are you fucking kidding me like that's nuts she has 313,000 subscribers so yeah okay I'm gonna go sorry this video isn't more exciting I'm just not feeling in the mood to do anything. Oh, 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 shit. I do have to tell you. Okay. I calorie counted today. So my goal was to stay at 1,600 calories for today. And I ate 1,597. I have two calories left to eat for the day. I'm not going to eat anything else. It's fine. I felt like I had a good food day. Let's see. So I had... Coffee this morning with oatmeal and a blueberry yogurt. Then I had a bunch of black seedless grapes, raw almonds, and sugar snap peas. I had my Italian pasta salad with lettuce and my Boca chicken patty. And then on top of that, I had a freaking chocolate chip cookie and my one cup of milk. 1,600 calories. I did it. Something I did want to mention is Halloween coming up. Halloween is this coming up week. So, 
What are you guys going to be doing? What are you going to do to not eat all of the candy that you can find? <laughs> I mean, every store we go into is like stocked, piled, full of Halloween candy. Don't do it. You're going to regret it, I promise. I heard the best saying the other day. You need to eat for the body that you want, not for the body that you have. So if you decide you want some Halloween candy, think about how much you would eat if you were 50 pounds lighter, if you were 20 pounds lighter, if you were 10 pounds lighter. Imagine you, the person you want to be, and imagine that person having a big bowl of candy in front of them. How much candy does that person eat? At least one, I'm sure. I mean, we're not perfect beings, you know. We can allow ourselves a little Halloween candy. But just like this message says, if you feel like it's going to rocket ship you off into the binge world of no return, then don't do it. Some people know that they cannot have that kind of stuff because it's a trigger. If you are one of those people, stay out of Walgreens. <laughs> Tomorrow, I have nothing to do. I'm so excited. I'm going to wake up late. I'm going to go to the gym for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. <sighs> I'm going to enjoy my day tomorrow. And so you will see me then. Hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you all very soon. Unstoppable